Welcome, welcome everyone, my name is Sean, and today we got to talk about this bill out of the state of Illinois, a bill that is proposed by one of these woke legislatures that is upset about the disparity in police traffic stops because black people speed more and they have more violations, and that leads to a different outcome based on that difference in behavior, so the solution is to kneecap the police and prevent them from being able to do that rather than actually expect black Americans or black Illinoisans, if that's what they're called, to follow the rules and laws of society as any other person would be expected to. And remember, this is about fighting racism, even though the absolute bigotry that you have to have to say that blacks can't follow basic rules that everybody else can is palpable. Now, we're going to get into this. We're going to talk about it. But before we do, I want to say thank you to everybody who signed up over on actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Give me the money. Give you, give me the money, okay? And thank you to the podcast listeners, Spotify, Apple, and Google's podcasting platform. On the ground, on the ground! Traffic stops like this one in Evanston can often turn into tense situations. Now one Illinois lawmaker has introduced a bill that would restrict the reasons a cop can pull you over. So one of the things I find hilarious about this local news segment is they're like, traffic stops like this often turn into tense situations. Yes, they do. And that's because that guy is fighting the police. Wouldn't you know it, if you don't fight the police, if you don't get into a physical altercation with them, if you don't try to beat up officers, then situations won't escalate into violence. 99 times out of 100. I'm sure there are some instances where the cop is just so angry and he wants to fight people and he acts inappropriately. We all understand that that's a possibility. But in this particular video that they showed, the guy was fighting against the police officers. When he did that, the police are going to try to restrain him. This makes sense. Also, this guy might have an open warrant. He might have whatever problems that cause them to pull him out of the car or for whatever reason. But supposedly, this different outcome based on his behavior is one of the justifications for why we have to let people speed. Because, again, this Illinois legislator thinks that it is too crazy to expect black Americans to behave when they're pulled over and to not commit traffic violations. Justin Slaughter represents parts of Chicago's South Side and South Suburbs. First of all, is anybody shocked that this guy represents one of the most criminal districts in the entire city of Chicago, the South Side of Chicago? Is anybody surprised by that? Is anybody confused by that? Is anybody thrown off by that? He is actually quite literally representing his constituents quite well right here because he happens to have disproportionately a high rate of criminals a high rate of people who get into altercations with police and rather than addressing the problems within his district he's decided to change the laws so that the people within his district can't be held accountable because he can't lose voting base because the people in his district are sent to prison he can't expect anything from the people in his district he has to pander to them 24 7 all day every day has introduced hb 4603 that would change the motor vehicle code to prohibit police stops for minor offenses like failing to display license plates or expired stickers, excessively tinted windows or defective mirrors, bumpers or windows. Now this insanely stupid bill, this ridiculous absurd piece of proposed legislation that is meant to pander to the criminal has one thing on that a list because I'm the most fair person in the United States of America that I can hear an argument for, that I can kind of get behind and that is the excessive tint provision. And the reason why I can get behind this is because as long as it's tinting from the outside, like it doesn't obstruct somebody's view from the inside, I actually think it's none of the government's business who I have in my car or what I have in my car from a normal, regular, ordinary situation. Obviously, this becomes a security issue, and I understand why this happens if I am to be pulled over, but the thing is, you're supposed to have a system that does not set up to be observed or surveilled by the police just willy-nilly. So this is the one out of all the lists that you can make an argument for, but the other ones, they're just pro-criminal legislation. I mean, right at the top, it's so absurd. The number one thing on that list is failure to display registration plates or tickets. So one of the most obvious things about this is that this is meant to protect car thieves. This is meant to protect criminals. Also, it will have the downstream effect of helping people avoid tolls because a lot of tolls are charged via the plate. That's the new thing that they're installing in all these major metropolitan areas. And you removing the requirement that you have a license plate on your vehicle and that being a pull over roll offense only protects people who are criminals who stole a car and took the plate off so that you can identify it 
or people who are trying to evade tolls, and I hate tolls, and believe me, I want to get rid of a lot of these toll roads, but the fact of the matter is, you can't have it. I mean, imagine you have an Amber Alert. Somebody kidnaps a child. They load them up into an SUV or a car or whatever, and then they take their license plate off, and you see the car. You're a police officer. Same make, same model, but the plate's removed. Now, normally, you'd be able to pull that person over if the plate matched your description or if the plate was removed but under this bill you gotta let that kid get kidnapped go off and get tortured because god forbid you would expect a car to have a license plate on it what an evil white racist you are i can't believe you're in favor of racism you evil white racist cop now by the way i did notice on this list there's an excessive exhaust thing that actually might be even more defensible depending on what it is than the tinted windows thing but the other things on this list where you have expired tags unsafe bumpers unsafe windshield wipers and all these other things that cause safety hazards are ridiculous and absurd on its face but of course you gotta do this because god forbid you get numbers, you get outcomes based on disparate behavior, and you actually have to face the reality that certain groups of people act and perform differently throughout our society. So the best thing that you could possibly do is just avoid allowing that to happen. Protect the criminals at all costs and just legalize a bunch of traffic violations in order to do so. But the most controversial part of the bill involves stops for speeding that would not result in misdemeanors or felonies. In Illinois, that means speeding 25 to 35 miles an hour over the limit. Now look, I'm of the belief that one of the things that they do in a lot of these major metropolitan areas is lower the speed limits on the highways to the point where you have to go over the speed limit and they could pull over almost any driver on the highway for that. However, this actually applies to residential areas. If you think about that, it could be uh, you're in a 30 mile an hour speed zone in a neighbor in a residential area and somebody's going 50 and we can't stop the vehicle i mean just think about how absurd that is you're in a residential area you're walking with your kids and all of a sudden the kia boys roll down past you they're going 65 miles per hour in a 30 zone they have no license plates and the police are nearby and they just have to let it happen they just have to let them blitz down possibly kill your kids possibly kill your neighbors possibly crash into a home kill themselves crash into another car because god for forbid that we pull those people over we find four young black men in that vehicle because that would lead to a disparate outcome on our statistics again absolute absurdity they're taking away every aspect of law enforcement piece by piece and make no mistake about it if they get away with this today they will take something else away tomorrow this is insanity basically put on paper and likely because it's the state of illinois some version of this would be passed into law he says drunk driving enforcement could also be handcuffed when we find duis people that are under the influence it's their inability to maintain lanes a lot of time. And under this, we wouldn't be able to stop them. So another thing that is brought up by this particular sheriff is that they catch a lot of DWIs with this or DUIs, depending on your state, driving under the influence or driving while intoxicated. And part of the reason that they're able to do that is people swerving, not being able to maintain their lane. And that is also barred by this bill, among a bunch of other things that would be good indicators of something wrong with the driver or a crime being committed that the police are no longer able to use because again god forbid those statistics end up working out a way that doesn't match the census data we can't live with that let's defend the criminal but others are split on the measure doing arbitrary traffic stops waste time and money I mean, there's other things that they should be doing, like engaging with the community rather than harassing them. Now, whenever there's a stupid idea that is proposed, whenever something is put forward that is ridiculous, absurd, and indefensible, you think to yourself, there is no way in hell that anybody would support this. All of a sudden, a white progressive comes out, an Antifa loser type comes out, somebody who probably thinks communism will work the next time we try it comes out in order to defend it. He's just said, oh my God, they're arbitrarily pulling people over who steal vehicles, take off the license plates and drive 30 miles over the speed limit in a residential area. And I can't stand that because that leads to racism allegations because the data doesn't line up and it makes this guy uncomfortable. Waste time and money. 
I mean, there's other things that they should be doing, like engaging with the community rather than harassing them. You know, if Jessica Burbank is single, I might have found her match right here. Somebody who's in just as much denial of criminality as her. So maybe we should make this happen. Send her over this guy's dating profile. If he is a straight, he might go for it. And, you know, if he's not, then at least she has a new best friend. It's just a recipe for chaos. It's a recipe for disaster. So here you have an older gentleman who says this is ridiculous. It's a recipe for disaster disaster it's going to lead to chaos on the streets and he's against it and again i just want to juxtapose that to this other guy who wants to save all the minorities he thinks that they're puppies they need to be rescued because god forbid you would expect the same standards of behavior from them that you would expect from other groups of people in the united states of america madness on every level slaughter introduced the bill monday but it has attracted no co-sponsors. He did not respond to our calls and emails today, but he did call Jim Kaichek this morning to tell him he was not going to move forward with a bill in its current form. So in this local news segment, they point out that Justin Slaughter, who, by the way, perfectly named person. He is the representative for the South Side of Chicago. He is clearly and obviously pro-criminal, trying to figure out ways to keep criminals on the streets for longer so that they could eventually murder somebody. A plus, living up to your namesake right there, Justin Slaughter, and I really appreciate you for that. But they're saying that he won't go forward with this piece of legislation. They're saying that in its current form, because it's attracted no co-sponsors, he's not ready to push it forward. But the thing is, this segment leaves out what the truth is behind the issue what the goal of this was and it was to start a conversation about racial bias in traffic stops which is what i've been saying all along but i just want you to see the quote for yourself in a statement slaughter said quote for decades illinois has wrestled with the challenge of racial bias in traffic stops and the disparate outcomes that are too often the result at no point in this effort has anyone's goal been to take away the tools police need to keep communities safe. So yeah, that's his quote. He wants you to know that this is about the stats. He doesn't like the end result, even though it's based on the behavior of these different groups. But to put the cherry on top, the one little extra piece that is added to this bill is as follows. The bill would also make any additional evidence of other crimes that was found during a traffic stop for one of these minor offenses inadmissible in court. Yeah, that's right. So if you pulled somebody over, no license plate in the city of Chicago. Oh, wait, you can't do that anymore. I guess they have to go 50 miles over the speed limit and you find evidence like a dead body, all these illegal guns that tie to additional murders. Guess what? Not admissible in a court of law, because even though he says it's totally 100 percent not about infringing on the police's ability for public safety, it 100 percent is. It's 100 percent pro criminal. If you have good probable cause in order to do a vehicle search or you get somebody to consent to a vehicle search, thus making it legal, then yes, you should be able to use that evidence in a court of law. But this bill takes that away because God forbid we overlook any possible way that you could lock up a criminal and don't reverse that immediately. Look, a lot of people want to pretend that these fringe ideas only exist in academia or they only exist in online left-wing media or on social media or from Antifa losers or people like that. But in reality, these people are in office. These people have power. And just because we noticed this change because it was so dramatic and so absurd doesn't mean that right now where you live, that a legislator isn't pushing for this or hasn't already passed this kind of bill or something similar to make you less safe and cater to the criminal just that much more in your particular area. Monitor your local government, people. This is what they're doing when they think you're not looking. Monitor your state government. This is what they're working on when you think maybe, possibly, they might be working for you. In reality, they're defending the criminal. They're backing up their activist constituents because they don't care about you, especially if you're not going to pay attention to them and it's unfortunate that you don't because you have more impact on your local politicians on your statewide politicians than on the federal level than on the presidential election yet all the time the media redirects your focus to the federal to the national government rather than the people who actually influence your everyday lives more than you can imagine again they were going to allow people to steal cars, take the license plates off, and drive 30 miles an hour through your residential area in the state of Illinois, and this is only getting a little bit of local news coverage. But hey, you know what? Those are just my thoughts. Maybe you're in favor of this. Maybe you think it's swell. Maybe you think, honestly, that black people in the state of Illinois have been pressed upon so much by the government, by the police, that they should be able to run over people and still not get pulled over for it. Let me know your thoughts down in the 
comments below. If you liked this video, show them by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on my social medias, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about this insane Illinois law. Till next time.